It's now time for For Your Money. We're joined by David Nelson, CEO of Nelson Corp Wealth Management. Welcome back, David. Thank you for the invite. So, David, we've seen some positive changes to economic growth figures recently. What insights do you have from the latest data? Well, we did see the GDP growth rate that was revised higher last quarter, but as we tell people all the time, the, the, the problem with a lot of these statistics are they look in the rearview mirror instead of looking forward. So I brought a chart today that actually is much more current. It looks at weekly uh, uh, data, and it's a tool that gives us real-time read of, uh, of what the economy is doing. It's called the Weekly Economic Index. It combines a lot of uh, real-time data points into one indicator that tells us how the economy is performing on a weekly basis. And it expresses it as a year-over-year -year growth rate. It tends to fall rather quickly as far as when uh, when things start turning down so we get a more timely read. This happened in uh, 2008 during the great financial crisis. You can see that as far as on the chart there. And then again in 2020 with COVID. But what's kind of interesting is the last year and a half, uh, this series of indicators has uh, kind of indicate uh, uh, higher, higher levels, which is certainly what we want to see. So what does this mean for investors? Well, I think uh, knowing that the, uh, the Federal Reserve is looking very seriously at cutting interest rates here in September, it's really important to pay attention to these type of things and we'll, we'll see as far as uh, what, how it unfolds. But uh, I guess I'd wrap it up just saying that caution is probably warranted at this point. Again, these things could go either direction and I just as soon have people protect capital versus being overly aggressive. All right, David, as always, thanks for your insight today. Thank you. If you missed any of our discussion, we'll make it available for you on ourquadcities.com.